Hello everyone, you were asking me to do some cold starters. I have here these beautiful scallops today. So I'm gonna show you how you can make delicious scallop ceviche with citruses, cucumbers and apples. So let's do it. And let's start with apple puree. I'm gonna use these sweet apples because I want my puree sweet so I can balance the sour taste of the scallops and the cucumbers. So I'm gonna peel them, take the seeds out and chop them to smaller pieces. Then I start with a little bit of butter on the pan and I'm gonna sweat them for around 5 minutes on medium heat. Then I'm gonna put white white in and reduce it down. And at this time I also put my saffron. You don't need to put too much because it's very strong. It's gonna give you nice taste and the color. At this time I season it with the salt and I'm gonna cook everything until the apples will be super soft. Then I can move it inside the blender and blend it properly. An easy apple puree with saffron is done. Now I can transfer it inside a plastic bottle and leave it to cool down because I want to use it cold. The puree is done, so let's start with crispy shallot rings. So I peel some shallots and I'm gonna cut nice rings. Now I can separate the layers, so I end up with nice rings. And I'm gonna mix them with a little bit of milk and leave them on the side for 30 minutes. This technique gonna help you to get rid of the strong taste of the shallots. In 30 minutes I take them out and dry them a little bit on paper towel. I got here some plain flour, so I season it with salt and I'm gonna cover the rings. And the last step is to deep fry them in hot oil. When they get crispy, I take them out, dry them on paper towel, season them with salt and they will be ready for the plating. And the next thing I have to do are Schwarzwald ham chips. So I put my ham in the middle of two baking papers, press them properly and I'm gonna bake it around 180 degrees Celsius until the ham will be crispy. The ham looks amazing, so I leave it on the side to cool it down and it will be ready for the plating as well. And now it's time to start marinating my scallops. So I'm gonna squeeze the juice from two lemons and two limes and mix them in the plastic box. I wanna do it also a little bit spicy. So I chop one chili in the half, take the seeds out and I'm gonna cut nice small dices. And if you enjoyed this recipe, hit the like button. And if you're still not subscriber, click the subscribe button down below. So you're never gonna miss any of my new video because on this channel I'm gonna teach you every week how to cook like a pro at home. I mix the chilies with my lemon juice, season it with a little bit of olive oil and salt and it will be ready for the scallops. I cut each scallops into three pieces and I'm gonna marinate them inside the liquid for around 30 minutes. You can do around 15 minutes and keep the scallops raw. 
or leave them inside for around one hour and cook the scallops more. That's up to you. For my garnish, I wanna do some cucumbers. So I'm gonna use melon baller and make nice balls. If you want, you can peel the cucumber, but I wanna leave the skin on so I get nice green color. And I'm gonna marinate the balls inside the lemon juice as well. And by the way guys, I'm looking for last two amateur home cooks who would like to join my one-on-one -on -one online coaching from the next month. So if you would like to work with me personally and improve your cooking and plating skills so you can move your cooking from just random copying the recipes to really understanding all the fundamentals and basics of fine dining so you can make your own dishes and play them at home like a professional chef. Now you have a chance. You can apply on my website and let's find out together if we are a good fit. I see you there. And now let's finish the dish. The scallops and the cucumber been inside the liquid for around 35 minutes. So I just move them on the tray and I'm gonna season them a little bit with salt and let's do the plating. I start with my marinated scallops. Then are coming my cucumber balls. Few dots of my sweet apple puree with saffron. Few drops of the green oil. Some crispy shallow drinks. Crispy Schwarzwald ham. I also want to use some chilies, so I put them on top of the scallops. And I'm gonna finish it with nasturtium leaves. So what do you think guys? Do you like this scallop ceviche? Let me know in the comments. And if you would like to learn more about finding and cooking, check out the links in the description below. That's everything for today. Thank you for watching and I see you soon.